Bird friendly spaces are very important, especially in city centres. We're going to be building a bird nesting box to give our feathered friends a good home. This particular bird nesting box is great for native rosellas as it keeps minor birds out. These are the tools you need to make a bird nesting box. All of this and your materials can be purchased at Bunnings and excluding a single angled cut, it can all be pre-cut there for you as well. I've labelled all of my pieces so I know what's what. The first step is now to measure out where the entrance to our bird's nesting box is. I want mine to be in the middle near the top. Once we've measured where our hole's going to go, we're just going to clamp it to the edge of our table so that we can cut it out with a hole saw. Next we're going to cut out our access ladder onto this panel. It's going to look like a series of slots that will make up a ladder leading to the top. To make the job easier, we're going to drill a hole either side of these lines to give access to the jigsaw to cut out these slots. To help us get a straight line, we're going to draw a line top and bottom to each of these holes so that we can follow it with the jigsaw. Now we're going to build our back panel. When we put this in the tree, we want it to sit at an angle so that water will run off of it. To do this, we're taking some offcuts and attaching them to the back. I'm now attaching the base to one of the sides and then working my way around, attaching each panel. I'm using a piece of timber to help support this for safety as I'm nailing in each piece. Now make the lid. Our lid has a guard on it to protect the ladder and the entrance hole. Now attach the lid to the box with a hinge at the rear. Now I've made this fixing with some wire that we've had cut from Bunnings. We've just looped this over and clamped it down. We've put it through a piece of hose. This is going to protect the tree that we hang it in as the tree grows. We also have a spring to attach at one end so that as the tree grows, this can expand out with it. Now we're going to paint our nesting box. I'm going to paint mine in camouflage colours to help it blend in with its environment. I'm also going to use some leaves from the garden to help me do this. Use saddle clips to attach your fixing. Now all it needs is a good tree and some birds to make it its home. And there you have it, we've created a safe space for our native rosellas and by painting in camouflage it blends in with the natural environment. It has minimal impact going from this to this. Buddy's warehouse.